What's up, YouTube? Well, today, um, pretty big day for us because we've said all along we weren't going to do the floor in the front of the bus until we were at the very end, you know, so we didn't want to track metal shavings or gravel or whatever when we were working in through the front end there, but we're kind of we kind of got stuck in the snow here, guys. We were gonna go do another shakedown, but we got all that, and half of it's, half of that's melted off. Anyhow, we spent half the day yesterday digging the bus out. So, instead of pushing the weather for the shakedown, I mean, we could make it up there now, but, um, we both decided it'd be smarter to just stay put and stay inside and work on this more. Um, and get it done and then go run up and take another shakedown trip. So we've got a couple of days of not supposed to snow for today and tomorrow and then two more or three more days of snow. So we're going to try to get this floor done in here. So this is the last bit of flooring that we have to put down and uh, see if we can get it done. So I actually started yesterday. I'll flip around here and show you what I did yesterday. So yesterday I decided I would start up. I would start and do the fender well there first before I laid all the flooring around it. So I've already got the table loose and I've got that covered and I was working on the moldings for it yesterday. The thing that I'm not super excited about is I have to remove this chair again to get the flooring underneath it. But I need to get flooring back into that curved area back there and on the front edge and stuff. And I need to get the molding on that. And basically, it's going to look like crap if I don't pick the channels up off the floor and put the flooring underneath them. So gonna have to take the chair out I can get through that and but before I do that I'm gonna have to go outside because there's really not much place to stick stuff in here anymore since we are living in here while we're working in here uh, so I'll go scrape the table off and it's not supposed to snow today so the chair will be fine sitting outside while we get this all sorted out and we'll go from there so Maybe this will be one of the last times you see the floor with the strand board showing instead of the finished floor. We'll see. So I think this is funny because I've been dealing with this through the whole build. Right here where the chair is by the front of the door is that spot where all the crap gets piled. <laughs> I mean, it's good crap, but uh, yeah, it's a constant battle. So hopefully once I get this flooring down, this stuff will find its new home in totes and toolboxes that are going to be in the under bay because we're at that point for that also where, you know, this stuff needs to be on board because we're just about done with everything. It needs to be coming with us instead of getting put back in the shop. So put out positive thoughts and positive energy for me on that one people because this is one of my nemesis is almost like uh it's not even bad right now oh my gosh guys we have the chair removed that's the hardest part of the job was getting into the bus on the wet and the snow and getting this because these got to get cleaned up and painted too so thankfully joe came out and helped me get these out move the chair out and we just have the chair, you can see it in the background outside the bus, sitting on the table. I already told them I had to scoop snow before I had yeah. a place to put it. But wow, it really opened up that corner. You don't realize how much space one single chair takes. Okay guys, we're getting the floor down. So this is up in the front, just as you come in where the uh, co-pilot chair sets and now we're working towards the side under the drop-down table. We're running out of daylight, baby. I know, but we're so close. So 
I think this one can go there. And you might luck out. Oh yeah, look, this could be a perfect fit. Wow. That could be pretty sweet. So, we're making progress. <laughs> hey, what's the problem with that one? Well, you need to, the couch is not quite perfectly straight. So we gotta cut a little bit of an angle tapering down into this because this end will snap in easily, but that end up there won't. Gotcha. So do your magic, baby. So that little bit right there needs mm -hmm. to be shortened up. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to share with you guys too. We got a little mini shop set up out here. Um, we did have a nice day today. But we're working around the snow still, but um, going back and forth into the shop was a lot of work. So we just brought all of our tools out here. Here's another shot. And you can see down on the table is where the chair's sitting. But um, we're running out of daylight, guys. So we got to get this done and then get all these tools back into the shop. Plus get the chair just put back in the bus for the night. But I think my main man down there is running out of oomph. Okay, guys, we're back on the floor today. We got all of the floor down yesterday, and it turned out amazing. But um, now we've just got some finished trim work and stuff that we're trying to get done. Yeah, yeah that, this part right here is what I've been just waiting to get covered. Oh, I know, this is gonna look so amazing. It's like so amazing when you just do those simple little things like this well, when threshold. This, when this goes on there, oh man, is that gonna look nice. Oh, so that's gonna look so sexy. Oh. I, need, I only need the staples to just kind of hold it in place till I get the screws through it. Okay guys, we have got it done. The whole floor is down, um, trim boards around. She is complete. This is huge for us. Um, the tire well turned out so cool. Um, I could not be happier. Hey guys. Sorry for the squinting, but the snow is blindingly bright out here this morning. It's like, whoa. Hey, so we got the floor all done. And uh, one of the last things we have to do is clean up this entryway here. So let me flip around and show you. So yeah, here's the entryway into the bus. And uh, sides are kind of khaki, and of course there's where the toes are kicking all the time. And uh, anyways, once you get past that, we've already put the little rock mats in here and we love those. And like I said, this floor is all done now. And I, you know, we're both pretty stoked and happy with that. So, Shelly is off to have lunch with some girlfriends today. So I thought, man, if I could get this done today, that would be awesome. And they got five of the six screws on each one of them came out. And there's one on each one that I can't get out. So, I went and got some bigger crowbars. I bet you can buy these and put new ones back in if you wanted. There we go. Wow. Oh, that's on metal. That's why that's so... <laughs> their metal on the underneath. Got a couple of screws that are coming up from the other side into here. So even though the bus is, the heat's on in the bus and it's warm in the bus, the doorway is always cold because there's no insulation. So anyhow, I'm just warming it up with that propane here before I start. 
spray. I'll turn that off before I spray so I don't start an explosion. Okay guys, I got that all spray painted. I put it on pretty heavy on the steps because I know it's going to be a wear area. And then what I did is I cut this floor mat. I went and I bought these at the big box store. So I could get two steps out of one. But anyhow, it has this, uh, has this edging on it. And so what my plan is, is to put toe kicks on these steps down here. So I'll put the same matching toe kick on these two steps and that will hold those rubber mats in place. But potentially if it works out, like the bottom one here, all I have to do with it, because I have a, a lip on it already, all I had to do was cut it to fit you won't snag your toe on this one because the drive on weather stripping the edge of it is up above it. So that should be pretty good. But up here you would snag your toes. These guys will go in there where the blue plastic was before. And if I put the toe kick on here, I'm thinking potentially we could just grab these when we need to. We could tip them up to get some of the dirt out of them, I don't know. Down here, just a little tiny bit that didn't cover, but I can live with that. And then up here, I put these corners all into the same corner so they got consistency. You know, the, the trim around this corner. So I think if I go make these toe kicks and get them on there, these things will be really great. I mean, look at that, it's already looking sexy. Okay guys, there it is. I got it all done. The cool thing is Shelly's been gone all afternoon. So woo, I think she's gonna be surprised when she sees this baby. I'm really happy with it. I think it came out great. Yeah, here it is from the inside, heading down. It'll never be that clean again, I can tell you that. But man, it, it does look awesome right now. <laughs> That's cool. So this is another huge, major check off of our list. Um, we are so close to getting done, you guys. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here and we will just catch you guys in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.